So we just got out of Google's presentation where they announced the new Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. And based on what we've seen so far, it seems like Google's really diving into that continued marriage of hardware and software, with phones packing a new Tensor G2 chip and some slick design refreshes. So here we are in Brooklyn, outside of Google's store, where they have all the new devices inside. Let's go check them out. So let's start off with the standard Pixel 7, which is available in lemongrass, black, and white. And as you can see, Google has integrated the camera bar directly into the frame of the phone, which is a really nice touch and hopefully should add a little bit of durability. Now on the standard Pixel 7, we have two rear cameras. There's a 50 megapixel main camera and an ultra wide sensor. And if we flip it around, the Pixel 7 actually has a 6.3 inch screen, which is a tiny bit smaller than last year's 6.4 inch screen on the Pixel 6. So all you compact phone fans, looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a win right here with a slightly smaller device. Now moving up to the Pro, this is the Pixel 7 Pro, which has a 6.7 inch OLED screen. One important thing is that it has 120 hertz refresh rate, which is up slightly from the 90 hertz refresh rate on the standard Pixel 7. Now if we look around back, the Pixel 7 has a matte, kind of brushed aluminum finish, while if you look close, the Pixel 7 Pro has a more polished, shiny aluminum finish. So obviously one of the big features on the Pixel 7 Pro is that 5x telephoto zoom. And what's really interesting is that Google has worked to change the way the camera algorithm works so it zooms more smoothly between 1, 2x, all the way up to 5. And so you see, you're not switching, it doesn't feel like you're switching directly between lenses, it's more of a smooth motion. And even at 10x, we're still getting a really clear shot because, as you remember, it's a 5x telephoto zoom and then it's doing a full res crop when you get above 10x and then you can keep going and then you're using super res zoom all the way to 30x. And another thing that interests is that you see this little box in the top right corner, that's to help you frame because obviously when you're holding it at 30x zoom, it's really hard to keep things steady. So this is a really interesting tool on how to make sure you're framing things without just shaking the crap out of your shot. So one really nice thing about the Pixel 7 generation is that Google is expanding its real tone photo processing, which looks to more accurately capture people with darker skin tones. So for this generation, they've added uh, 10,000 new photos to the machine learning algorithm to build on that previous knowledge. And the goal is to make sure that people just look better and we have a camera that more equitably treats the way images are captured. So another new interesting photo feature on the Pixel 7 is that it's using the ultra wide lens to shoot macro photos. Now interestingly, you have to leave it at 1x and then as we get closer, the phone kind of just automatically detects and then you'll see that look, it jumps right in there and then it automatically switches to the ultra wide angle lens even though you don't have to press it on the screen. So moving on to video, there's also a new uh, active stabilization feature that should make your videos look even less shaky. But the interesting, most interesting new feature, I think, is the new cinematic blur feature. So we're going to select it over here. And you can see, real, it's real kind of subtle, but it adds a nice soft bokeh to the background. And it automatically detects you know, what your subject is. And you can see, so it's nice and sharp on this guy's back right here. And then over here, you can see that there's a nice soft blur. And it just adds a little more high-end look to all your videos. And on top of that, you're getting 10-bit HDR colors all at the same time. And so another new feature is an improved version of Face Unblur, which now works with NiceSight. Obviously, it's a little too bright in here to really test out the low light performance. But let's just take a couple selfies while I'm shaking my head. Pardon the funny face, but that actually doesn't look too bad. And so obviously, it's not perfect. You know, there are limits to photography, but you know, right there, that's surprisingly sharp. And you know, hopefully, we'll be able to test it more when we get to our final review. Now inside, Google also has its Tensor G2 chip, which is supposed to unlock a bunch of new machine learning and AI-based performance. Obviously, you can't see inside the phone, but we're talking about things like there's a new uh, expanded functionality for direct my call. So if you call one of the top you know, thousand businesses in the US, you'll get a text menu, so you skip those automated voice messages even faster than before. So diving a little bit more into the different specs of each phone, we have the Pixel 7, obviously you get that 6.3 inch screen, the Tensor G2 chip, and eight megs of RAM, and either 128 or 256 gigs of storage. Then moving up to the Pixel 7 Pro, it has a 6.7 inch, 120 hertz screen, the same Tensor G2 chip, 12 gigs of RAM, and the choice of 128, 256 
or 512 gigs of storage. And both phones get 30 watt wired charging and wireless and reverse wireless charging in case you need to share some excess juice with a nearby device or someone with a phone that's low on juice. So I'm really excited to test out the new photo features on the Pixel 7, especially that 5X telephoto zoom on the Pixel 7 Pro. And of course, there's all those new software features, but it's gonna take a little time for us to really dive into those because it's not something we can test out right here. Of course, one of the greatest things is that the pricing is still extremely attractive, starting at $599 for the Pixel 7 and $899 for the Pixel 7 Pro. And stay tuned for more coverage because we just got these devices in our hands and we can't wait to put them through their paces for a full review coming soon.